hello and welcome to afro entertainment if you are watching my videos for the first time you are very much welcome please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos hit the notification bell to get the latest videos thank you it seems like former finance minister Tito Boweni has no intention whatsoever of playing games this time around. According to him, there is a public apology that has to be made by the economic freedom fighters. Now, we know about the whole situation that had to do with Boweni and former Sunday Times political journalist Ranjeni Munosami. Last year, Boweni was accused of irregularly hiring Munosami at National Treasury and one could say that this was a challenge for the former finance minister for months. Recently, the Office of the Public Protector found out that Boweni actually did not contravene the executive ethics code as it was as initially claimed. Now, Boweni is likely happy that this is now behind him, but he demanded that the EFF should apologize to him, probably to Munosami too, and it has to be public. EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambu was the one who had asked the public protector Busisiwe to investigate if Boweni had irregularly appointed Munosami or not. Now, because investigator Kobus had alleged that Munosami received 148,000 rands years back from a crime intelligence fund, the EFF probably felt the need to check if Mboweni did not appoint Munosami when he was not supposed to. However, as you might know, Munosami denied that she had received the 148,000 rands. Mboweni further explained that he had appointed Munosami because she was highly qualified and now that there was no wrongdoing, Mboweni is waiting for the public apology from the EFF. The question is, does the EFF really have to apologize though? One would say that they had no intention of tainting anyone's name. They were trying to get the truth and they did. Investigations had to be done. Reactions have started coming in. There are some people who believe that there is absolutely no need for the EFF to apologize. Why others think that there is? As for the EFF, they have not said anything as of yet regarding this matter and probably do not see the need to. It may seem like Mboweni will not be getting what he wanted and another question is what he will do if the EFF does not publicly apologize. Thanks for listening and please do well to leave your comments in the comment section.